Our landmark moon mission, the Chandrayaan-3, is nearing a cosmic climax. The Vikram lander is just a few kilometers and a few more hours away from its tryst with the moon. ISRO is all set to initiate the automatic landing sequence once the lander arrives at the designated point. It is expected to take place at 5.40 p.m. Upon receiving the sequencer command, the lander module will begin the powered descent to the moon's surface. The soft landing for which the entire nation has been waiting for 40 days is expected at around 6 p.m. in the evening. Now, this is the first time that any nation is exploring the uncharted territory in the south pole of the moon. If everything goes according to plan, India will become only the fourth nation to set foot on the moon after U.S., China and the former USSR. Broadcaster Girish Lingana, who's the aerospace and defense analyst. Thank you so much, sir, for sparing your time and joining us here on Mirror Now. Sir, I would request you to speak to us about the final phase of landing, which is also now being referred to as the 15 minutes of terror. Okay. I will uh, just tell you, see, uh, the, now the scientists uh, would be checking all the sensors, hardware, everything. Now the all the checking is going on in the Bangalore Mission Operating Complex. So they will be ascertaining that everything is in place. Once they ascertain everything is it in place and also the temperature near the moon surface, everything will be checked now. Once they are sure about that, at 5.47, they will send a command for the power descent. This is called as the power descent. Once they press the send the command for power descent it is nothing like it is like jumping from a mountain means everything goes on auto mode autonomous it is called as autonomous or auto mode so there is nothing intervention from israel to do anything in this power descent mode all happens automatically okay are you clear with this what i am telling right absolutely hello right right yeah. So, if you could, right. Now, I will explain this power descent uh, phase. In this autonomous phase, there are four phases. One is called as the rough breaking phase. I will explain you what is the rough breaking phase. In this phase, this is the beginning of the descent. In this phase, the satellite will be moving horizontally at a velocity of 1600 meters per second and vertical velocity will now will be zero and the legs of the satellite will be parallel to the earth surface it will not be perpendicular to land but it will be parallel to the earth surface in the from the rough breaking phase the power descent begins it travels for around 600 and uh, uh, on uh, 80 seconds, 600 seconds, and it covers a longitudinal distance of around 713.5 kilometers. Remember, the satellite designated area of landing is 70, 745.5 kilometers from the from where it is now. It has to travel 745.5 kilometer and get down. So in the rough phase itself, it will move 600 seconds, means it will cover 713.5 kilometers. And at that phase, the altitude, which is at 25 kilometers above, it will come down to 7.4 kilometers. And the distance would have been covered 713.4 kilometers. That is called as the altitude holding phase. This is where the Chandrayana 2 entered into a problem at the altitude holding phase. Now, at this phase, what they are going to do is they give a tilt for the satellite, means the legs has to face, uh, come, has to turn to face the Earth surface. So, when they, they the tilt starts at the altitude holding phase, and this will be, it will travel for at least 10 seconds. It will be in that phase. Then it starts tilting 
and it comes down to 800 meters in the height above the moon surface, roughly one kilometer above the moon surface, where the legs of the uh, satellite will be facing the Earth's surface. This is called as the uh, fine balancing phase. At this phase, the uh, velocity the uh, velocity will be somewhere around 53 me, uh, meters per second vertical velocity and horizontal velocity will be brought down to zero. They will boost up this vertical velocity because the, it should not fall on the earth due to gravity. So they will be a, they will boost up through th the four thrusters to maintain that velocity. After it reaches this fine breaking phase, then it moves towards the terminal descent phase where the satellite slowly begins to descend. Means 53 millimeters per second will slowly go down to 12, 13, like that. When it comes to 150 meter per second, they give a halt. Then the camera, the hazardous camera, which is fitted into the lander, will do again the thorough survey. It matches the already stored data of the map of the terrain. And once it is through, then it will slowly ensure that it lands down and the velocity reduces to zero at the landing position. Means last 10 meters, they will allow it to land as it is without any uh, force or anything like that. It should softly land on the floor. It should, why I call it softly means there are a lot of sensors and instruments that should not get spoiled. So it softly lands on the floor. Absolutely. If in 150 meters per second, when it is standing, if you find any issues, it will move another 150 meters and again they, it will check and again it will land. So this, they have chosen an area of 2.3 by 4 kilometers for this uh, landing surface and it will land at the correct position. This is the last 20 minutes what we are talking about. Absolutely. Thank you so much, sir, for breaking that uh, down with us. We'll quickly go to our colleagues right now.